What up, everybody? Everybody, what's up, everybody? In that <laughs> what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Technique Tuesday. We're gonna be coming at you this week, actually every other Tuesday, with a new series called Mindset Series. Now, it kind of we're kind of breaking down the mindset of a fighter. Even if you're not a fighter, we're breaking down the mindset. And we're starting with this Tuesday, today, with something I've been asked a lot here lately by other fighters, or uh, maybe up and comers, is how do I deal with nerves? And it's a big thing. It affects people posit positively and negatively. Now, to be honest with you, there's, there's something that you'll never get rid of. I've got over close to 70 something fights and I get nervous every time, every time. Like I feel like I'm about to die. I'm going out there to die. That's how I feel before I step out in the octagon. Now, I've been fighting for many years. That's something you never get, with, get rid of, but the nerves help. The nerves help, you, help keep you on point, to stick to your game plan, to be aware when you're out there. So the nerves is a good thing as well. Now it could be a negative thing if you're not careful. I've seen guys back in the, in the rooms or waiting for the fights and they sit there and pace, right? Back and forth. They get the jitters, which I know from personal experience, once you feel nervous, you know, I get up and do a little bit of mitt work and then I chill. A lot of people will be in the back and they'll do a full on workout before they step out there and, when, and as soon as they get out there, they're exhausted. They just spent all their energy. Now some body types are different. I know guys that will work out for an hour before they step out there and do great. I know people who don't work out at all before, right, right before they step out there, you know, maybe they'll shake their legs out a little bit and go out there and do work. But you gotta find what your body's used to. And that's all with experience. Now one thing that really helps me prepare mentally for the fight, and this is something that I think about when I'm in the back getting ready to step out there, and is literally the most, there's no words that can strive, describe. Only fighters know what it feels like to step out there, especially at a really high level. You know, when you got thousands in the arena either cheering for you to lose, you know, cheering for you to win, and it's just you and your opponent. So that could really mess with you. But one thing that I think about and that I do that helps me mentally is doing everything possible to prepare for the fight, right? I didn't miss a training session. I put myself in really uncomfortable situations to prepare for the fight. It's all in preparation. You know, the five pieces of success, prior preparations prevents poor performance. Knowing that, you know, because I had a little injury, you know, I didn't miss that training session. You know, even though I was sore, I didn't want to go to training, you know, I went anyways. That helps you, that, that helps you as you build up to the fight. Even on fight day, I think about that. Man, I missed this day, bro. If I would have missed this day, I would, I, would, I would be better than I am now. And that can affect you as well mentally when you're out there. Might make, make you conserve energy, I don't know. But you won't perform to your best if you know that you didn't full out prepare yourself for the fight. Because it's tough, because it's, 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 it's very hard. You always have that mental voice in your head saying, you know what, you know, I'm tired, you know, I, I can take today off. But you know what, you gotta fight yourself on that. You gotta push yourself. I know that I've, I've done everything that I possibly could to prepare for the fight, so that helps me, one, okay? Two, for me, I'll get up and I'll do a little bit of mitt work. I don't do anything crazy. I don't even build up a sweat when I'm in the back. That's just me. I feel like I'm wasting energy. So I'll do a little bit of mitt work, and then guess what? I'll sit in the back and I'll sleep. When I'm asleep, when I'm laying back there, I, I close my eyes, I take a little nap. Number one, when you're asleep, you're not nervous. So you're not wearing yourself out from the nerves, which that can happen, that is a real thing. And I literally, my, my dad wakes me up, you know, two fights before, you know, I get my, my hands wrapped. Uh, I, feel, I feel like I'm ready for battle at that point. You know, I've, I've, I've literally taken like a power nap. Try that next time if you can. Just try and calm yourself. Get you a pillow, take with you, you fighters out there before you fight. And when you're in the back, don't pace, right? Lay there, close your eyes, and kind of meditate on the fight a little bit. Kind of go over the fight in your head. And I do that, it actually helps kind of put me to sleep a little bit. That helps me calm my nerves as well. For number three, my final tip for you guys is having good people in the back with you, good corner men to keep you focused. I have, a, I would say, kind of advantage in the back because it's kind of unique. I have my dad in my corner, right? So we're in the back right before we walk out. He always tells me this, and if you don't have anybody that tells you this, I'm telling you this now, so remember this before you step out. But right before you walk out, remember this. You know, no matter what, win or lose, 
You know you prepared yourself mentally, physically, emotionally for this fight. You did everything that you possibly could. So win or lose, everybody back home, your, your, your students are still going to love you. Your, your family is still going to love you. Your teammates are still going to love you no matter what happens. So just go out there and have some fun. And that always seems to calm me down because that does. It does affect you what other people think. You know, I, you know. Because when I step out there, I'm thinking of my training partners, the guys who helped prepare me, who sacrificed their bodies to help get me to where I'm at, my coaches, my family that sacrificed their time to help me prepare for the fight, you know, my loved ones. So I want to do it for them, but I also got to know no matter what, they're still going to love you. And that always seems to calm me down. It's very easy to get sucked into this tunnel vision of the fight, right? When my dad tells me this, it kind of opens up my mind a little bit, you know, kind of reminds myself that, you know, at the end of the day, this is just a fight. Yeah, this is my career, but this is just a fight. There are things more important and special than this moment right now, right? You know, you got your family, your friends, your loved ones, that is more important. They're behind you, they're cheering for you. No matter what, they're gonna open you, you're gonna, you're gonna be able to come back home with open arms. So that always calms me down. So always remember that. You know, if you don't have those people in your life, think about Wonder Boy will still love me after this fight, all right? So I get a lot of people on, in the DMs, other fighters, amateur fighters, that always ask me, how do I deal with that? And I'm kind of giving it to you now. This is something that I very rarely talk about, but now it's out there and hopefully it helps you. Um, everybody's body types are different. I know guys that get slapped in the face before they get out there. My dad doesn't slap me, I'm not that kind of guy, you know. You know, to each his own, hopefully this helps you. And thanks for uh, joining me for this Technique Tuesday. And uh, we'll keep these mindsets going. So every other Tuesday, mindset baby of a fighter we're going to be giving it to you catch you guys later